In this video, I'm going to talk about the many benefits of Vitex and Maca. Why would you want to consider taking them when trying to conceive? And why is there only one Maca I recommend to my fertility clients? Charlene Lincoln, women's health and fertility expert. Consider subscribing to my channel for tips on optimizing your fertility naturally and ring the bell to be notified of my next video. Also, I want to discuss when you would take one over the other and contraindications to consider. Let's start with Vitex, alternatively known as Chaseberry. Clinical research has shown Vitex's ability to balance fertility hormones. Vitex itself does not contain hormones. Instead, it has a supportive and regulating effect on the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland, which is called the master gland, sends signals to the ovaries, which tells them how much hormones to produce. In studies, Vitex was shown to decrease FSH and increase LH, which in turn increases progesterone both of which are necessary for your body to ovulate and for the regulation of menses. Also, Vitex can reduce estrogen dominance, which is often the root cause of PMS. Proper progesterone levels are needed to prepare the body for pregnancy as it signals the body to thicken the uterine lining for implantation. Too low levels of progesterone can result in spotting and miscarriage. In one study of 45 women taking Vitex, 86% responded positively with normalized or significantly improved progesterone levels. What if your progesterone levels are adequate? Is Vitex then still a good idea? Some women complain of side effects from taking Vitex. These side effects include weight gain, fatigue, headache, breast tenderness, bloating, mid-cycle spotting, and mood swings. These symptoms sound very similar to when progesterone levels are too high. That's why I recommend test, don't guess, and get your progesterone levels tested prior to starting Vitex. What about treating luteal phase defect with Vitex? Vitex has shown to increase length of a shortened luteal phase, which is the period after ovulation. The luteal phase is important for proper implantation and support of a pregnancy. If the luteal phase is too short, and that's less than 10 days, it may indicate low progesterone or high prolactin levels. In a study, it showed 40 milligrams of Vitex was as effective at lowering prolactin levels as a prescribed drug. Vitex has also been very effective at regulating menses and easing symptoms of PMS. A history of PMS symptoms can be an early indicator of hormonal imbalances like estrogen dominance that can lead to difficulty conceiving. What about Vitex for amenorrhea? In a six and a half month study of 15 women with amenorrhea, 67% had resumed a menstrual cycle by the sixth month of use. Progesterone levels also increased. Unfortunately, many of us are taught little to nothing about our menstrual health and instead put on birth control pills as kind of a blanket treatment instead of being taught about herbs like Vitex, iodine, vitamins and minerals, and acupuncture that can safely treat symptoms without being put on synthetic hormones. On that note, if you are coming off the birth control pill, Vitex can help regulate your cycle. Now on to maca. I've grown to love maca because of the benefits I've seen for myself and my fertility clients. Maca is an adaptogenic herb like ginseng, meaning it helps the body adapt to stressors. It has shown to balance hormones via the HPA axis. Maca is full of nutrients to support the health of the body on a cellular level, but also supports healthy hormonal balance which contributes to healthier eggs. In animal studies, maca has shown to increase follicle count and improve sperm health. 
Did you know maca is a complete protein as well as containing 31 different minerals and 60 different phytonutrients? I made a video about maca that I'll put in the info card above and the description below. In the video, I detail the many benefits of maca as well as the dark side of this amazing root. There are many different phenotypes of maca, and if you don't know what you're taking, it can cause negative side effects. I feel that maca can be of great benefit to most women if you take the right one. I use it as a foundational first step treatment when there are hormonal, thyroid, or adrenal imbalances. When choosing a maca, only use one that is gelatinized and comes in capsules and a blister pack. Something that is not discussed is how unstable maca is once processed. A lot of the effectiveness of the maca powder decreases rapidly with exposure to oxygen and moisture. Most maca on the market is a mix of different phenotypes of the root. I will recommend a maca that is the exact phenotype needed to balance fertility hormones in the description below. This company also has healthcare professionals to answer your questions and make sure you are getting the greatest benefit. Also, this particular maca has been effective in helping women with PCOS. My suggestion is to start with this maca first for one to two months. If your progesterone levels still need support and or your luteal phase is still short, then you can add Vitex. Download our free report on restoring fertility naturally at restoreyourfer 